Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I'm super, super excited because we're checking out Nectar 3 today. This just came out today. Links in the video description if you wanna go check it out on our site. It is phenomenal. If you work with vocals in any capacity and you wanna bring it to the next level, this is definitely a plugin you wanna check out. So what we're gonna do in this video is just go ahead and run Nectar 3 on the vocals I have here, start to finish, to see what it can do. Along the way, we're gonna talk about what's aside, what's available. I'm not gonna use everything for this particular vocal, but hopefully we'll get some more tutorials out soon for some of the things that I'm gonna skip over here. But I am gonna to try to tell you as much as I can about it without making this video you know 50 minutes long so let's just go ahead and jump into it. i'm going to go ahead and delete everything i have here delete nectar 3 i'm also going to delete this thing called relay we're going to talk about that in a second and what i'm going to do is just jump over here to the busy part of the track so this is what i got i got a dry vocal and then i got that with some other instruments and we're gonna make it sound better. We're gonna use Nectar 3, I'm gonna drop that on the vocal channel. And the first thing I wanna point out is the GUI is resizable. Thank you, Isotope, finally, yes. Uh, they've been kind of infamous for not allowing you to resize the GUI, but now I'm happy to report that you can. You can do it here, and there is, I think, RX7, some of the modules allows you to resize as well. So. Boom, thank you, nothing but love for you guys. Now let's talk about the technology. I think the most talked about or what will be the most talked about feature inside of Nectar 3 is the vocal assistant. If I click it, you'll see here I've got two features. Now the vocal assistant is in the same vein as the track assistant in Neutron 2 and the master assistant in Ozone 8 and I believe uh, the repair assistant inside of RX-7, they use machine learning, so they've analyzed thousands and thousands of test cases, and then they use a little bit of artificial intelligent algorithms to make decisions based on all of those test cases to whatever audio you're feeding into it specifically. And then it makes a custom preset or starting position for you depending on the audio and the changes that it's made based on all of those test cases. So that's how it works. Yeah, very glossed over version, obviously. But the cool thing about the vocal assistant is the new unmask feature, which isn't available anywhere else in this capacity. Neutron 2 does have an unmask feature where you can pipe in audio into Neutron 2's EQ so you can see where the frequency conflicts are gonna be. I've done a video on that. Go check it out if you wanna learn more. So I'm not gonna talk too much more about it, but this does it automatically for you. And what you need to do is in order to use this, you see that it says no sources found. That's where the relay comes in. So you can either use relay or another instance of Nectar 3, but we're gonna go ahead and use relay because it's actually less CPU intensive. So what I'm gonna do is drop it on the strings and piano group. I have strings and piano inside of here. And what I wanna do is move some of that frequency content out of the way to make room for the vocals so the vocals pop more, they stand out better, they sound clearer and more precise. And that's what the masking feature is gonna do. So I'm gonna drop that relay on that group. So I'm gonna be processing both of those you know, in a summed channel on here on this group. You can do it channel by channel if you want. I'm just gonna drop it on the group. I'm gonna rename it so we can stay you know, somewhat organized. You know, strings, piano, hit enter, boom. This is pretty much all you need to know about this plugin for right now. There are some other options. We'll, again, maybe talk about that in a future video. But what I wanna do now, you'll see that I can now check this. And what I can do is check this or this, or what's really cool is I can check them both. So it's gonna, once I hit next, I can choose my vibe. So I can go vintage, modern, or dialogue. Obviously dialogue's out of the question for this one. I'm gonna stay on modern and intensity, light, moderate, or aggressive. And I'm gonna put it on aggressive just so we can get, you know, a very good understanding of what the track, what the vocal assistant is actually doing. And then from the unmask dropdown, we need to choose whatever relay or Nectar 3 instance we want. And it's automatically recognized that I have relay there and it says strings piano, which is what I named it. That's why you name it. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And then I'm gonna click next and let this vocal loop right here in the busy part of the track and let the vocal assistant do his thing. Let's go ahead and do it.
right, so it's gone ahead and it did the process. The top part of that list was the vocal assistant. The bottom part was the unmasking feature, connection, and uh, masking removal. So let's check out what's happened here. The pitch correction hasn't been turned on. Gate hasn't been turned on. EQ has some subtractive EQing going on to make things a little bit clearer. There's a de-esser module that's been activated to catch that sibilance and those CHs and THs. Uh, then we have an EQ here, which seems to be trying to demud the lower end while boosting the higher end to make it clearer and more bright. Then there's a compressor to catch the peaks to make sure the dynamic range isn't too different to you know getting really loud and really quiet and so on and so forth. Then there's been some reverb added. So let's go ahead and bypass and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and solo this for a second. Shame, there is no choice. So it's catching that S, perfect. I'm actually gonna bring it over. It doesn't need to be down that far, I don't think. And then I guess, now the other thing I do is pull up the mix here on the reverb. Shame, there is no I think that sounds a little bit better, especially for this style of track. Um, there's another really cool thing I wanna point out too inside of the EQ here. Finally, there is a high pass dynamic EQ uh, uh, possibility. So if I click right here, and by the way, I believe it's like almost infinite number of points you can add. You can just keep clicking anywhere you want, adding and adding and adding. It's beyond 12, I know that for sure. Um, but that's pretty cool too. So I've got a flat high pass right here, and that's perfect, that's what I want. And what I wanna do is change the slope to 24. So just double click and type 24, and then if I click this little fly out right menu right here, I can turn on frequency and watch what happens here. It's so dope. It's dynamically removing all of the ultra low end from this vocal that I don't need. That's inevitably gonna cause issues with my bass and some of the other lower frequency instruments like strings and stuff. And if you search like YouTube or something, this is one of the most common mixing tips that you can find is remove the ultra low end. So what you wanna do here is you wanna remove the ultra low end that doesn't affect the overall tone of your song. You don't want to roll off, you know, that ultra low end of your vocal that makes the vocal sound hollow. So the, what this is actually doing is dynamically removing the low end. So as the pitch of the vocal moves up, the actual filter here will move closer to the right. And as the pitch of the vocal goes down, it will actually dynamically change and go down further. So you're not rolling it off, but you're always keeping it nice and clean. Super dope, and in fact, I will probably be using this filter, even though it's meant for vocals on other instruments too, when I wanna get that sort of filter cutting done. Awesome that it's in there. Neutron 2 doesn't do it. It does have dynamic filters, but you can't do it on a high pass, low pass. And same thing with Ozone 8's dynamic EQ. You can't do it. You can do it to the other filters and external, internal, but you can't do it with the high pass filter. And now you can, so quick thing to be excited about. Uh, there are a bunch of other modules in here too. We got compressor, delay, dimension harmony and saturation. So a compressor, you can have two compressors, you can have two EQs, and once you have the limit, they're grayed out so you can't add any more. Delay, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put it in front of the reverb. Just turn down the mix a little bit. Very cool. You have saturation built into it, digital tape, analog, grunge, and echo. Let's put on echo, turn it up. Very cool. Uh, the harmony, you can add harmony to the music. I am not gonna do that now. Maybe I'll do a separate video for this because the vocal is actually already has harmony inside of it. So I don't wanna put harmony on top of harmony. That'd be too crazy. And I mentioned, so we got chorus, flanger, and phaser. There's also saturation with a bunch of different saturation types, analog, retro tape, tube, warm decimate and distort. So lots of creative possibilities or warming possibilities or trying to get that analog sound. Very, very cool. So I'm gonna jump out of here and let's check out the unmask feature and see what it's done. So if I resize that GUI and pull that over here, let's go ahead and run the vocal with this group. I'll go ahead and control click that. Uh,
Okay, so it's a little difficult to hear, but it actually is carving space mainly in the lower frequency because the strings in the piano are mainly taking up the lower frequency. So it's only really removing it there. So hopefully you have nice headphones on or speakers and you'll be able to hear that a little bit better than if you're just listening on your phone or your laptop or crappy headphones. Um, but it is carving space out there. And I will try to do uh, a better example later on and maybe a two minute Tuesday or something where you can hear that a little bit better, but the unmasking feature is phenomenal and it works like an absolute charm. So that is just a quick look at Nectar 3 and what it can do. As I said, if you work with vocals and you're serious about working with vocalists or mixing and mastering for vocalists, then you need Nectar 3. Uh, it really is the all-in-one suite. I've only touched on what's capable of. I haven't gone into each and every module to talk about its pros and its cons and how to use it and so on and so forth. I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. You know, we've got pitch correction over here. We've got the gating if we want to remove noise and stuff, breaths, whatnot. Really just a phenomenal, phenomenal suite of plugins built inside of this Nectar 3 unit. So anyway, that's a quick look at it. It's available now, like I said. Click the link in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique, and I hope to see you in the next video.